Hi, my name is Cyber Vesna, and today I'm gonna walk you through adding custom appearances for NPC in photo mode and AMM. For this tutorial, we will need a woven kit, and if you don't know how to install it, please go back to my previous video about importing clothes where I explain how to get a woven kit working. What you will need additionally is Visual Studio Code, link will be listed down below in the description. And now we can get started. Don't have any template we can use, but we can use game file that are actually a template on its own and we're gonna use them today npc i want to change is rogue so i'm gonna grab her files what we need is her app file if you want to easily find files in woven kill the best advice i can give you is to just look around and find out uh, that's basically how i learned woven kit because i'm working it for so many years i memorized where curtian parts of the game are stored and here today i'm gonna show you where the app files are depending if it's npc from the base game or from a dlc rogue in this case will be from the base game so we go into the base and we go into characters appearances and main npc and here you have app files or all the important npcs that the game recognizes if you have some minor characters that aren't important to the story they will be often stored in one of the other versions of app files like corpo you can see here let's go back getting rogue rogue is main npc and she is right here okay now that i have rogue's app i'm gonna move it to my own folder and i'm gonna move rogue here i can delete the base and now we open the app file as you can see there are all of rogue's appearances listed i don't need all of them since rogue already has and i'm using npc extender to have her all appearances in photo mode so i'm gonna delete those except the rogue date and i'm gonna rename it to rogue wedding guest and now we open the components file and now in the components we have all the items rogue is made of what we want to change is her her clothes so we look for t1 or s1 it will be shoes and i1 will be items like jewelry and t0 is body t1 is as you can see bodysuit sweater and bodysuit straps so i'm gonna change those we don't need straps and we don't need rogue stroker yeah basically what i want to do is to give her one of the dresses so we're going back base and this time we're going to character and garment i think it's gonna be citizen fashion torso yes and here are the dresses i want to give her a full hanako dress this will be this one i'm gonna add it to my project i'm, I'm gonna move it to my folder and again i can delete the base so now this dress is in my custom folder so if we're gonna edit it it won't be affecting the main vanilla dress from the game this is in case if you want to change colors in my ml setup builder so now i'm gonna copy this and here where are the bodysuit sweater sleeves i'm gonna change it and i'm gonna save it now i will check it out here and as you can see it has a lot of uh, versions that you can choose from already if you don't want to recolor them themselves a cool feature is to load here generate materials and you can for example let's choose teal pattern and we're gonna generate materials and as you can see it created a, a preview of how the mesh looks like it's not always the perfect render of how it looks in game but it gives you a general idea how the mesh might look like in game and i'm gonna stick to teal pattern back here i'm gonna copy this teal pattern and now here and where we put our dress we can actually rename it to dress to know where it is and find it easier and in mesh appearance we putting our teal 
pattern and safe now there are two ways you can add your appearance to photo mode one way is creating entirely new npc and the other one is adding into the npc that already exists in photo mode in this case rogue is natively added to photo mode or you can use npc extended to have full library of npcs you can spawn in photo mode all you need to do is to generate files that will have photo mode components inside them here Vulvenkit is actually automated so to create them we're just gonna have to go here file add files and add photo mode files as you can see it instantly sees that there is rogue app and this is gonna be our main app and as you can see i'm missing the end file so i'm just gonna quickly get end file and to get the end file go to base characters entities main npc and here is rogue now we have our end file we're gonna move it here gonna open and it doesn't matter which one we're gonna save go to the app file we're gonna copy the name of our appearance and here we're gonna rename it in both appearance name and name and here is important part we need to get the apps path and put it here so now we have end ready and we can generate our files file add files add photo mode files and here is my saved and as you can see, it sees the app and it sees the end and it will create photo mode versions of it. Here, I'm going to put it as rogue and going to finish. Wolvenkit automatically generated me files that I needed. It's in here in photo mode folder. It's basically the same thing, just with components for photo mode already generated inside. And a cool thing is that here in the name, in the photo mode end, we can change the name from this working name to more clear one which would be wedding guest in this case files generated already they add like you can see there is archive xl and there is a yaml already add them as custom npc to the game so i'm gonna show you an alternative way how to add them to the existing npc in either native photo mode or in npc extended version the guide on how to do it is on xba uh, website it will be listed down below i of course will walk you through it it's really simple but in case you will have any troubles here's the extended version of the tutorial what we will need here xl file and here gonna be this and back in woven kit here we're gonna add five new file and it's gonna be a xl file and i'm gonna create visual studio code open automatically or xl file so we can paste what we copied from xbase tutorial and here is how it's gonna work so this path is the path of our edited entity in this case it will be robot amount copy related game path and we're gonna paste it here and this one is original path of her photo mode entity so to find it as you can see it already shows us where it can be but i'm just gonna search photo mode and and here's old rogue and i'm gonna copy related path and i'm gonna paste it here and we save it so now we can test how it looks in game we're just gonna install and launch so now in photo mode if we go to characters and we go at the end of the list i have a long list because i have npc extended you will see there is this icon and if you click on it it will show you that there is rogue she's invisible but if you click on the appearance she will spawn you can see she has the dress we put on her but the dress is broken so i'm gonna change it and i can see that she has legs turned off so we're gonna work on that as well to fix our broken dress all we have to do is to change editor's mode to advanced and we look for parameters buffer which is here and as you can see there are end garment parameters some npcs do have them some don't and all we got to do is to delete all of this and we're gonna clear our eye and we're gonna save and now it should work as you remember we also had turned off legs so to turn them on all you have to do is to find the body mesh that rogue is using for her legs in this case i can see that this is gonna be t0 woman average base full 
we're gonna have to open our mesh i'm clicking it here open a new tab by clicking it on the blue button i don't add it to our project and in mesh preview i can see which ones will be the sub meshes that we have to turn on so it's gonna be three four and five in my case so i'm going back to app file and i'm going to chunk mask and i'm turning on four and five and i'm saving it now we can test it in game again and now in photo mode if we go to our appearance it should be okay and if we go to our additional one it's also working to change the icon you just have to make a picture of your npc the, in photoshop just replace it with the icon in case you just want to add appearance to existing npc in photo mode and you don't want it to be a new entity added to photo mode you have to just delete all those three files you need to delete json ink atlas and xbm you will also have to delete the yaml file and the archive xl file the one that adds it to the scope if you don't want to have it as an additional npc the rest like app and end file needs to stay because they are used by photomod if you need more space and more components you can just duplicate them rename them to whatever you need like t-shirt and just change the depot path to your mesh and a mesh appearance to what you want to use. I prepared for you a template of Lua that can be easily pasted in the resource here in the resource and it will be available to download in the description. So now we just have to edit this and as you can see it has my old uh, stuff here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is change it to here. I need to copy the end that isn't for photo mode gonna put it here and remember that the slashes needs to be double adding another one i'm changing hanako to rogue and here you have the example list it just like what shows up in the scanner it doesn't really matter unless you care for details like this and here we're gonna open our app file and we're gonna copy the name of the appearance it has to be the same as the name in the entity file so i put in both versions the same so i'm gonna change it from hanako to rogue wedding guest i'm gonna save it now and i can check it in game and in amm we can spawn i actually made a mistake but here she is kind of and she looks like like this because i didn't change the app file too much m the changes i made in the uh, photo mode version of the app file but basically that's how adding things work so i quickly change everything <laughs> in the uh, her appearance file to match with the photo mode version and as you can see if i go to photo mode now here's the amm rogue and now i'm gonna spawn the old rogue because here I added my appearance and if I go to the end here she is and here's the one that we added additionally as a custom and I just have to and here is our army of rogues in case you want to create more appearances than one of course all you have to do is just to duplicate the one that you created or one of the existing ones from the app file you have to just rename it to whatever edit the meshes that you want to be replaced to include modded content on your npcs remember to ask the modder about permission if you can use it for the npc most npc use vanilla body type and to include modded content you also use asset browser instead of normal asset browser you use the mod browser which is you have to just toggle this on and woven kid will start reading modded content instead of the game file and like I mentioned, in case of NPCs that are in the expansion of Phantom Liberty, you have to look for them in the EP1 folder instead of the base folder where you can find them all.
like here. So this is how adding custom appearances to photo mode NPCs and adding photo mode NPCs works. If you have any question, please check out the red modding server and ask there. It's better to ask on our open forum because then if anyone has the same issue as you, uh, they can search for it instead of asking about it again. And uh, have a good modding, chums.